What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Tiger is back with his first mixtape of the year titled Ross Nigga Alive. And guess what? It's actually as bad as you might think it is. I say this. Let me start let me start off with some positive. Because I feel like everybody needs positivity. Um, Tiger, his intro and his outro are really good. For Tiger standards, of course. Ten million dollar mortgage, I smile, I cry. Those are the first and last songs. And I think Tiger is smart because whenever I listen to a Tiger project, I feel like the intro is always above everything else on the album. So if you have a good intro, you're gonna draw people in. Obviously you don't have to draw me in because I am reviewing it, so I have to listen to it regardless. But Tiger is smart in having like a good intro. And that's and that said, even when he has lines like, You fascinated with the flow, I'm masturbating, I'm stroking my ego. Like, I've heard rappers say that before. In some way, shape, or form, it's not an original punchline. And I feel like Tyga suffers from a lot of these type of punchlines. On another record, he says, uh, call me Gates because I always pay the bill. And he also says, I can be a chef, I know how to make a meal. A meal being, you know, a million dollars, but using it in the sense of, you know, a meal, a chef, you get it. Which, I mean, that one is probably the best one that I spotted out of everything. You know, I had a little bit of a, a I don't know. It was it was good. It was better. But then, like, on Baller Alert, he imitates the, the oh my god, why are you always lying guy with a line. And... I just get confused, like, what is Tyga doing with this? And it sucks that he doesn't want to progress. He's not even, it doesn't even feel like he's trying at times. He just gets beats, he rambles on, he does his little stunt talk, which, when you rank stunt, stunt talk raps, Tyga's not even in, like, the top 10 or 20 of it. He's not that good at writing about, you know, cars, money, hoes, all kinds of stuff like that that he, you know, always takes to. But, I don't know. Tiger's one of the most hated artists in the industry. I want to see him embrace that more. I want to hear his feelings. Like, there's, I don't think there's any way that he could simply just ignore it for the rest of his life. Like, you're one of the most hated artists in the industry. You know that affects you. You know you are aware of it, even if you don't use social media that much. I mean, you were, he was dating an underage woman and he caught so much attention off of that so much bad publicity you know i want to hear tiger's emotions how he feels being one of the most hated artists and at that point don't you want to try to actually be a better artist if people are hating on you and you put out a mixtape like this how are you supposed to continue to make people pay attention to you at some point even tiger fans i think I just going to get tired of him altogether. It'll get to a point where it's like every mixtape is like the same. Nothing is new. He's not pushing the envelope. He's not trying. And he'll just eventually fade away, I think. Um, and it sucks. But I guess that that's Tiger. You know, he kind of addresses, you know, the whole his feelings a little bit on For Life. But he doesn't like dive into him. And that's the one thing that I want to see him do. Um, in the future is really tackle like this issue because how do you I don't know maybe I'm just more aware of like how people view me and I would want to if I was a rapper and a lot of people hated me I would try to embrace that in a way that makes better music it would motivate me to make better music because once you start making amazing music if Tiger could pull out of like another Rack City I think it'll stop people from you know criticizing him at every single moment that they can he's the butt of a lot of jokes on Twitter on Facebook everywhere but I guess if Tiger has money if he has his girl he's happy he doesn't care what everybody else thinks but that's just my opinion on Tyga. I think he should do something of that nature because, I don't know, he's had good mixtapes in the past. Black Thought was a good mixtape, but now they're just kind of repetitive. It's it's just like the gold album, but it's titled Ross Nigga Live. And those are my thoughts on that mixtape. I would love to know your thoughts on the mixtape too. And on Tyga's career, where do you think he's going to go from here? Do you think he's going to continue to just 
coast around his name or is you think he can do something big this year? I don't know. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. And then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.